you know, for some time I've been trying to do these audio casts, and the whole goal originally was to celebrate the Lord's magic in the world. Not celebrate becoming Wiccan, although there are some great Wiccans out there, and certainly not celebrate being a wizard or warlock, because there's a few good ones out there. But what I have found so offensive today is how many religious right people, how many people who claim that they're Christian or Catholic, really don't even know the Lord today. I am not Oprah, but I can tell you one thing, that some bastardized group of police officers, medical people, mental health people, have participated in the most immoral, illegal, and incredibly illicit abuse of a man's life. A man was commandeered recently and basically lost something that was dear to his life. A man's genitalia has been sexually mutilated for other people's wishes on his life. What I can tell you about the situation is that he was pretty content in his ability to perform. Despite having a small package, it worked for him in intimate setting. But recently he was commandeered by police and put in jail. And while he was in jail, he was literally sexually assaulted and mentally abused. Psychologically interrogated perhaps, but not with him conscious. The police officers there that are called sheriff actually tied his beautiful pagan priest beard in a knot. They tied it in such a knot that he had to eventually cut the beard because a, a, a knotted beard is incredibly difficult to get out and at some point the, the hair continues to grow and hurts almost in strangulation. Probably shouldn't say that because they'll do it again to someone else across the nation. What I'm talking about in today's audio cast is that people violate God's plans for other people. They do it in their humble and uneducated understanding of the Lord. You see, as a man who is small in stature, it makes sense that I have small appendages and small features. It also makes sense that as a man of age 50, that just like you, regardless of your age over maturity or that of adulthood, you have the right to be in total control of your medical health, your cellular health, and how you decide to handle your own physical health or physique. We have many people across the nation who have something that's called body dysphoria. And what that is, that is that they have a dislike for something that's a part of their physical form. When they look in the mirror, there's something they don't like. In the case of women, it, the common known thing is that a woman does not have the size that, if, of cup that she wants. In the case of men, there's a lot of young men that are not pleased with the size of their package. But the bottom line is that each human being, even if it's just a nose job, has the right to pursue a specialist in the area of life that they are dealing with and pursue second and third opinions despite this horrible new technology-based uh, continuity of care program where we barely get a chance to do that because our records without our consent are being passed across electronic networks to different hospitals and different clinics without our consent or without our true needing for that to happen so that all kinds of motherfucking people who have nothing to do with our lives get our information that is very private this time of covid there's a lot more of that happening if you have had your covid test you can take your mask off well great we've always had a risk of illness in this world but this has become something important because so many people are dying. But the reality is that in life, people have moments of time to speak the truth. And the truth is that a man's body, through the illicit posing of drugs in his food by law enforcement or religious right people, led to the cutting off of something that could put him in a good mood. You see, human sexuality belongs to the individual, but there's a religious right group and contingent in the actual law enforcement world that says here's what we're going to do with these types of individuals anyone that has an intimate form of birth defect what we're going to do is we're going to thoroughly photograph them we're going to pass their information across our social networks then what we're going to do is we're going to debilitate them by taking away their fully paid for transportation and therefore they're now a walker the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to rip their leg out so that they can't walk as well and what we're going to do is allow the Hispanics here illegally and the Hondurans here illegally to put poisons in their shoes as well. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pay attention to them enough so that we can monitor what they do in patterns of their life. And the next chance we get, we're going to make sure that each time we can, we can put something in their food to make them pass out. 
And once they're passed out, we're going to commandeer their bodies for three and four days at a time. And we're going to literally modify their body in a way that we feel it's fine.